guys welcome back to val's kitchen now in this video i will be doing a whole chicken in the crock pot yes i am doing a crock pot chicken and i have an organic chicken here i have already cleaned my chicken and washed my chicken yes i wash my chicken i wash all my meats because in our jamaican culture we wash everything we wash um, yams um, sweet Irish potatoes, meats, rice, we wash everything before we cook them. So yes, I have washed my chicken and I have actually put all my spices together in this bottle here with a little water, some ketchup, some molasses and my shredded onions and garlic it's all in here in this mason jar i often do that when i'm doing any type of sauces just put it in the mason jar and then just shake everything together to get them to combine nicely so let's get started i had already turned on the crock pot so the crock pot is pretty warm and i'm going to get the chicken into the crock pot now Oh, so the chicken is in the crock pot. I'll go ahead and take my gloves off and wash my hands before I get my seasoning in on the chicken in the pot. Okay, guys, I have washed my hands. Now, oh, I should take this pan to the thing. Okay, so now I am going to just pour all this goodness in over the chicken in the crock pot. Okay, so it's all in with the chicken and I am going to cover the crock pot and leave it to cook. Now I'll check back maybe every, every couple hours or so to make sure everything's going fine. And towards the end of the chicken being cooked, I'm going to add some Irish potatoes and carrots. The carrots just to add a little color and flavor and a little bite in my crock pot chicken and my irish potato will be to not only add a little bite but it also will help to thicken up that sauce that's in the pot to make it into more like a gravy because the carbohydrates from the irish potato is what's going to be released in that crock pot to give the, the gravy its body okay so i'll bring you closer and let you see what's going on in the crock pot before i close it okay there we go so all that goodness is inside the crock pot on top of the chicken and i'll just go ahead and cover the crock pot and i'll check back in a couple of hours the chicken has been cooking now for at least three hours and believe it or not during that three hours my hubby and I actually ran downtown and I say downtown because we're living in the rural areas of Ontario. So now I am going to check the chicken to see how it's doing. Oh, wow. It smells good and it looks good. What I'm going to do is um, it's it's more cooked than I anticipated it being at this point. And I wanted to add my carrots and potatoes. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just steam my carrots and my potatoes a bit on the stove top and then add them here so they can help to form the gravy. Okay. So I have gently steamed the carrots and the Irish potatoes. So now I'm just going to add them to the crock pot. And then they're going to take on the flavor 
of the gravy in the pot and also help to thicken the gravy. So because they're hot, they won't actually slow down the cooking in the crock pot. You will just keep cooking. So I'm um, going to leave this to finish up while i go ahead and make some brown rice with mung beans just like the jamaican rice and peas check this out guys the chicken is ready it smells good the gravy looks good and i'm just gonna dish up some dinner for the family To all of you guys who have subscribed to Home Gardens and Dew with Valerine, thank you so much. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, go ahead, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you can be notified of new videos. No, thank you all so much again. Keep watching and see you in the next video.